Buddy, how is everybody doing this wonderful Tuesday evening? Hope that everyone is having a wonderful evening and everything is going good. Excited. We are going to be continuing talking about the Norwegian breakaway and the ports that we are going to um, for the uh, 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 group cruise that we have going on in May, May 19th to the 26th. Cannot wait for this cruise going out of Miami. I am excited. It's first for everything for us. We First for the ports, first for the cruise line, ship, everything. So we are so excited about this, this cruise coming up. And we've got special guests with us. And uh, we'll be bringing them up shortly. Let's see who is in the chat. And say hey to everybody. So glad that everybody is here. And first one in the house tonight is Mike and Rihanna's Adventures. Welcome in, Mike and Rihanna. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful evening. We are so glad you are here. And we've got Danny B is in the house. Welcome in, Danny. Glad you are here. Hopefully you are having a wonderful evening. I'm also, we are streaming an Instagram. So I'm also checking on the Instagram side. And it does look like we saw, see uh, we have See the World with Kate and Mike is in the house on the Instagram side. So welcome in, guys. Glad you are here this evening. And we've got Cruise Nuts is in the house. Welcome in, Mike and Tracy. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful evening. And we've got Mike Clock, the Clock Family Adventures in the house. And Ricky, hey, Ricky. And we've got Terry. Uh, from TNT Adventures of Sea is in the house, and we've got Venture Cast is in the house. Welcome in, Mike. Glad you are here, and hopefully you are doing well. And we've got Robin is in the house. Hi, y'all. Welcome in, Robin. Glad you are here. Hopefully you are having a wonderful evening. We've got Denise from Bone Tire Travelers is in the house. Welcome in, Denise. Hopefully you are doing well. So glad you are here, and um. You're probably getting ready for work if you're not already at work, or are you off this evening? And uh, we've got TNT Adventures of Sea is in the house. Welcome in. Glad you are here. And we've got uh, we've got Roadkill Gaming Glory in the house. Well, welcome in. That's a very interesting name. But welcome in. Glad you are here. We've got um, Andrea Shepard is in the house. Hi, everyone. Andrea Mike from South Carolina in the house. Well, welcome in. And if there's anyone in the chat tonight that is going on the breakaway on May 19th, please let us know. And we've got Pam Davison is in the house. Welcome in, Pam, and glad you are here. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring our panelists up. And uh, from the, uh, um, bring them up. Oh, we got a couple more. Let me quick hit. We've got Facebook user Shawnee Kansas is in the house. Welcome in. And glad you are here. And Najuma Brown is in the house. Welcome in, Najuma. Hopefully you are having a wonderful evening. All right. We are going to bring up our panelists. And first one on the docket is Chet. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How about you, Bruce? Doing great, doing great. And how is everything in Florida this evening? It's already getting hot over here. So how about setting us down a little bit of cool weather from where you're from? Uh, man, I, you guys can keep the heat over there. I'll tell you what. It's uh, but it wasn't bad today. It was in the it was in the mid 60s, so it wasn't too bad today. All right, and we've got Tom and Terry. From Chicago. Hey, everybody. In the house. Welcome in. Deep How are you guys doing? Chicago. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome. Glad you guys are here. Hopefully Thanks for joining well. us, all you Facebook groupers. Absolutely. And then we got one more special guest coming up who's actually going to be giving us a little bit info about the Norwegian Breakaway because he has been on it. And that's Mr. Mike Clock, Family Adventures. How are you doing, Mike? What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Doing good. Chad, I just sent my son down to you. Uh, he, he got on a plane and uh, going to see his mother in uh, Newport Ritchie. 
Oh, how about that? So, very, very cool. And we've got, we do have some, one person at least, Pam, says it will be my first NCL cruise. Looks like we'll be joining us. So that is awesome. So glad that you're going to be joining us on the ship. Yeah, and you can make it, Pam. And, uh, and let's see. Oh, we've got Sharon, Sharon and Jackson, Jackson is in the house. Sharon says, and Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Jackson. And, uh, Oh, and Andrea says uh, they'll be on the May cruise. They're celebrating Andrea's 61st, 65th birthday. Wow, that is awesome. All righty. All right, well, let's talk about the breakaway. Before we, um, so Mike, um, and that's for anyone in the chat or on the panel want to ask Mike questions. Mike has been on the breakaway. None of us have been, so this is going to be kind of new for us, the ship. So uh, tell us some of your likes and dislikes about the Norwegian breakaway, Mike. We'll start with that. Um, I will say that the buffet on Norwegian was the best buffet I've had out of all the cruise lines I've been on. Uh, they had steamed shrimp on the buffet, and normally, like, if you had, like, shrimp on a buffet or something – Normally, it's like sitting out there cold. It's like they kept it fresh mm -hmm. constantly throughout the whole entire cruise. Um, so really love the buffet. Um, I like the way they do their drinks. So you get on there, and um, they since most people have the drink packages and all, when you go up to the bar, you can get two drinks at a time. So they don't ask you for two cards or anything like that. If you go up there and order, they'll give you two drinks. No problem whatsoever. Um, I didn't like the layout of the ship, but that's just me. Um, it, if you, um, when you get kind of stuck on one brand of cruise line, sometimes you get, uh, um, you have your turn on turn offs. So that's, that's just me. Um, other people I'm sure will, will love it. Um, let's see. The doll only area is a little bit small on that ship. It's kind of right at the back, and it's like a big dance floor area. You got a bar off to the left-hand side. You got like a water feature on the right-hand side, and you have two little hot tubs off in the corners. Um, I think I only seen people in the hot tub like one time during the whole during the entire cruise. So um, you may have not you might not have any uh, problem getting in the hot tubs if y'all enjoy the hot tubs. But um, overall, I had I had a fun time on the ship. Hey, Mike, I was curious with a quick question. Do they do like a sail away type party? Because it doesn't look like their pool deck is is quite as big as like what I'm used to on, let's say, Carnival or Royal. So I just wondered if they do that all together like they do on some of the other ships or if it's just, uh, you know. I, I want to say the sail away party was the same time as our meetup. Okay. So I don't remember seeing a sail away party. Uh, okay. We had a meetup for like three hours on the back of the ship. So I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that was the same time as the normal sail away party. Um, I really had to go back and look at some of my videos from that ship because I really don't remember the pool deck all that much. <laughs> Very memorable. <laughs> nice. How was the entertainment on the, on the ship, Mike? Uh, so, I went to the comedy, and he he's he's a comedian and a juggler, and he was very good. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be the same person on yours, uh, but they do do a show called uh, it's a Fleetwood Mac album called Rumors, and they tell you the exact they tell you the story. Uh, they play the entire album, and in between each song, they tell you what was going on when they were making that album. Oh, and it's a very good. Uh, it's it's a great storyline to go along with it, and they all knew how to. They were all good singers, um, and like I said, each one of them would they would stop. Everybody else would pause, and one person would come out and tell you what was going on during the whole during that period. Um, but it was a pretty cool show. Uh, that one you're going to have to get in line for to make sure that you can uh, make it in the show because it does. Uh, it's in a smaller venue. So you do want to make sure that you get in line in plenty of time to to make it into that one. 
Awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other shows that I watched. You have to come back to me. <laughs> okay. We will. Let me a, uh, quick a pop over here. To, let's uh, pop pop over. Um, so I did look on Facebook. So the one that says Shawnee, Kansas, that was Kenny Bates. So welcome in Kenny on the Facebook side. And then we also have um, Facebook user, which happens to be Paul Grimley. So welcome in, Paul. Glad you are here. Okay. And then we have Scott from Controversial Cruising is in the house. Welcome in, Scott. And we've got Lloyd Barber, who Chet and Robin are sailing with the week before our breakaway cruise on the MSC Seaside or is it Seashore? I can Seashore. See that, right? So you Chet, do a side side. Seaside. Yes, we've been on the seaside. This is going to be the seashore this time. Oh, seashore. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, and then we've got the Bud Files. Welcome in. Glad you guys are here. Hopefully you're having a wonderful evening. Ryan Donahue is in the house. Welcome in, Ryan. Glad you are here and hopefully you are having a wonderful evening. we got Kathy Mills is in the house. Uh, welcome in. And then Cruz that says, we didn't like the layout of the breakaway either hmm. uh, and here is a question andrea is asking is the ship like the joy we are on the joy in september i do know that the ship is older than the joy it's actually a different class so the breakaway class and you have the breakaway plus and the joy is the breakaway plus class but uh so uh, i'm sure there's going to be similarities but also it's a um, probably a lot of difference differences also i would think Have you been on the Joy, Mike, or anybody uh, on the? Well, no one else on the no. panel been on Norwegian before, so <laughs> that was my um, first Norwegian. And uh, until we go on the Encore next year, that that's the only one I've I've been on. Okay, cool. Uh, Will G, welcome in. Glad you are here. Um, and then Andrew says uh, uh, the Fleetwood Mac show sounds cool. Yep, it does. I agree. Uh, let's see. Just checking down. We've got Marjorie is in the house. Welcome in, Marjorie. Glad you are here. All right. Um, we'll come back to Mike in a minute. Let's go ahead um, and talk about some of the events that we are going to be doing on, on this cruise. So, Tom and Terry, what type of uh, events do we have going on? Well, on day one, we're going to do the meet and greet. We're going to do it at the Spice H2O. That's, that's the place Mike was just talking about. I think he said it was at the back of the ship. It's the adult area. Hopefully, yep. that's fine if people have kids. That's my concern. But anyways, that's where Tom picked because there's. he thought it might be a little less crowded than other places. So um, That's from 3 to 5 p.m. Yeah. We also start the postcard exchange that day, so... Anybody who wants to be in the postcard exchange or hasn't signed up yet, we need you guys to put your either put your room number or send it to Terry so she can make a list. Yeah. And when he says it starts that day for anybody like new to, to like cruising and groups like this, um, the postcard exchange is just you get a list of everybody who wants to be in it and their room numbers. You do a postcard either from your hometown or whatever you want to do. It can be your, you know, whatever you want, be creative. And then you just deliver it throughout the cruise. Um, I don't recommend you actually do it the first day because it's really nice for people to get these postcards throughout the cruise so just pick a day tom and i like to do it after we've been drinking at like one in the morning Start makes wandering. it a lot more fun <laughs> but that's just us <laughs> but um yeah you just it's kind of cool you get to go explore the ship and and um surprise people with a postcard and um we're gonna try to keep we're gonna try to keep it at no more than 20 if i get like 22 or 23 i might leave it in, as one group but we'll see um, but just sign up in the event if you want to do the postcard exchange. The meet and greet is anytime between three and five. You don't have to be there the whole time. If you, you know, are just getting on the ship or you have something else, just stop by and say hi if you want. And that that's what's up for day one. Okay. Our second day, we're going to do the Shakers Bar Shot Glass Exchange. Yeah. We're going to do that at 11 a.m. That's a C day. Yeah. So Optional. I heard Shakers was a big area. 
the bar is not open, so bring a drink with you. It's yeah. e it is 11 a.m. I mean, <laughs> Uh, and how that works is everybody just brings their a shot glass, whatever they want, something funny or from their hometown or whatever. Put it in a brown paper bag. I will bring some extra bags just in case we so that people don't see them. We, we just draw numbers. You take one out. It's another great way to meet people um, on the cruise. And, just, you know, it just takes like a half hour, 45 minutes. We do that. Everybody picks and then we're done. Also, uh, we have a slot poll that's ran by somebody else out of our group. And it's going to be at 4 p.m. And I think it's $20 a person. And it's a $5 um, poll. And you get four polls. Um, don't quote me on that one, but it's going to be close to something We're not like running that. it. But anyway, another good way to meet people if you're into that and could get lucky and hit big. Mm -hmm. Or usually you just go through it once or sometimes twice. I found and the shop polls to be a great way to meet people because you guys start bonding just and start standing there. for each other. <laughs> And when the first time you go up, you say, hey, I'm, I'm Tom from Chicago yeah. suburbs. And everybody starts cheering you on. You get to know everybody. So it's really cool. The, um, on, the, on the slot poll, are they doing a sign up? Uh, like, in, yeah. in the event, they, yeah. On the page. Tab, on the page. Or, you you just on, on the page. page, we have an event tab. And you go to that event tab and all the events are there. I mean, in reality, the real sign up is going to be that morning. So don't feel like if you sign up and you don't show up, you owe her $20. Like wherever the meetup time is, meet there. And they usually, like how I do it when I'm running is I have a list printed so I can mark people off. But a lot of times they'll let you join if you want to join last minute. Once you give your you know, money. You just give them your money. They write um, your name down. You'll need cash for that, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. So... So that's kind of a fun event if you're into that thing. So that's day two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we day have... Day three, we don't have any nothing Facebook events. On day three, nothing on day four, Facebook events. Mm -mm. Day five, we're doing the Mardi Gras. And that's basically we're going to set up probably four or five bars. We haven't set up the bars yet, but we're going to set those up. And you dress in Mardi Gras attire. If you have a mask, we're going to bring beads. We're going to bring some extra masks. And we're going to set a time for each bar that we will be at, probably 30 minutes per bar, so that if you can't make every single one, um, the the list of them will be in, in the event. In fact, when I say in the event, I mean in our Facebook group, there's events. You just go to that event, and it, it'll probably be like the picture in the event or something. It'll tell you which time we're going to be at each bar. And then we just go there. We're... We're not going to like officially tell the cruise ship it's a pub crawl or anything. So we're not going to pre-order drinks, but we, that's why we're allowing a half hour. Everybody just gets a drink and stands there and chat. We take pictures, we meet each other and it's just, it's kind of fun to be dressed up. Yeah. When you're dressed up and you're walking through the ship, yeah. people are pointing at you. And and you don't they're have going, to be dressed. Check out yeah. those people. When we say dressed up, you don't have to dress fancy, but I just mean like when you're in Mardi Gras colors and wearing masks and giving people beads and stuff, it's Some a good way to meet people. Some people dress up a little more than others. We don't right? make anybody show, you know, for their beads. No? I, I do. <laughs> I don't give my beads away for free. <laughs> this one. That's no, it for the event. And no right? pineapples, okay, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> so that's it for the event. Oh, ready. there you go. Chet is ready. Chet is ready. <laughs> Chet's ready. <laughs> I'm a luchador. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, let's uh, go over to the chat and see what's going on there. We've got Kenny is in the house, has joined us. Welcome in, Kenny. Thank you for sharing us on both Facebook and YouTube channels. Thank you so much. Glad you are here. And Ryan says, Chet, is this also supposed to be live on your channel? Uh, yeah, Chet, are you streaming on your channel? No, because it wasn't coming up on my channel. It's only going, I, I think the link was sent to Robin's Messenger and I put it up. And so it wasn't coming up on YouTube. Oh, so gotcha. I, I didn't okay, realize right. it. it's too late. I tried to fix That's what I was doing over here, trying to fix it. And I don't know how. So <laughs> I didn't go up to the last it off. <laughs> no We're only coming through Ocean Ocean over here on this end. <laughs> well, welcome in, Ross. Glad you're here. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful evening, sir. Hello, Chicago. And uh, Lori says, uh, Jim is coming to Jacksonport, Jackson. Jacksonville, Jacksport. Is we'll have Jacksonville? to get uh, some NCL info. Haven't sold an NCL in thirty years. That's yeah. a um, that's an older ship, but I, I hear a lot of good things about that ship. Also, 
Uh, let's see. Robin says, I lost it. <clears throat> I had anything wrong. Oh, about the stream. Not a problem. And we've got Rob is in the house. Welcome in, Rob. How is everything in Canada, sir? And we've got the Z Show. Z is in the house. Welcome in, Z. Hopefully you are having a wonderful evening. And, uh, yep, just letting us know that Robin is working. Um, okay, here's one. Andrea's asking, where do you sign up for these events? I think you said it Thomas. once, but you want to say again where you sign up for these events if you want to participate. It, it's in our Facebook group. If you just if at the top, you you just got to If you're on your phone, you have to like scroll over and it says events and you'll see all those events. If you don't see it, sometimes you have to hit see more and it'll show the rest of them. And you just go into like, let's say if, if it's the postcard exchange, that one you have to sign up in that event because I need your name so I can put a list together. I'm a, um, I think I have the deadline as the end of this month, the end of April to sign up. And the other events, slot pull, same thing. You just most of the time you just say you want to sign up in it in that event. Like just put a comment in that event, um, and then they'll know. Yeah. If also, you have any trouble, you can message Tom. Also, or, I'm going to try to slowly every other day or every day I'll post a different event on the page, so you can again. just click on that and go to it, or you can go to the events tab and you'll find it. Yeah. Perfect. And then we've got Carnival Cruise Addicts is in the house. Welcome in, guys. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful evening. Welcome in. And Cruise and Coozies is in the house. Welcome in. I'm so glad you guys are here. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful evening. Well, my wife, while she is working, has popped in the chat. Hey, Cindy. And uh, it says, will group, uh, will group event at... Uh, agendas be uh, provided at the meet and greet. Nope. So it's already been said. If you, we want to okay. print one out on the Facebook page, but there will that be, be an, an idea. There'll I be an agenda the, sheet that we can print out. I guess I can, but I find that the meet and greets are are normally really chaotic. Maybe that's because I'm used to carnival and we always do it on Lido. So this one might be a little easier to do that. Um, so people are like coming and going so fast, but, um, but maybe I will just print out something small and that way, it, you know, maybe I'll have Tom laminate him. <laughs> really small. <laughs> like a business card type. There's not, there's only like what, four events. So I, maybe I could just put it small and then on the back, I can put the, the pub crawl bars in the times. I'll try to do that. Remind me. In our scan code. <laughs> All three of our scan codes. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's a great idea, Cindy. I think I will try to do that. Perfect. Yeah, we, that's what we did for the booze cruise. That's, I think that's why she's asking. We had something printed up and everything. So Good idea, yeah. So, um, and then a uh, Facebook user who is uh, Paul um, is asking this question I'm going to pop up. It says, uh, dining question. Anyone know, and you might know this, Mike, also. Anyone know... What is better, Cagney right. Steakhouse or the Brazilian Steakhouse? Did you eat so, one of these? I did not, but I'm fairly certain. So Cagney's is actually just like a regular steakhouse. That steak is the main thing. Moderno, I believe, the, the Brazilian Steakhouse is kind of like a fogo de chow. They have a whole bunch of different types of meats and different things like that, and you and you get all you want. So... Um, I believe, uh, Eddie, uh, Lugo did this one when he was on there. And, uh, I think you have like a green tab and a red tab. So if you want some more, you put, you leave your green tab up. If you're done, you, you put the red tab up and, um, they have a whole bunch of different types of, uh, of meat. Beware. Just, I've, uh, I've done YouTube research on this. They try to fill you up on the salad bar. So go easy on the salad bar. Yeah. <laughs> and then they bring out the cheap meats first. So I it's it's still really good from what I saw on YouTube, but but they you know, they do that at all those Brazilian steakhouses. Yeah. yeah. You know, not just this one, but yeah. Don't fill up on the salad bar. No, I want meat. <laughs> and we've got Sean is in the house from the Down Under Cruisers. Says OMG, it's just Bruce. 
and there's Clocky, <laughs> Bet, and all the crew. Good day. Yes. <laughs> all the guys are all okay, over there. Sean. Never uh, let's see. Oh, we got Globies Travels in the house. Welcome in. Glad you guys are here. Hopefully you are having a wonderful evening also. Uh, just check and see if anyone else has any questions that I might have missed. Well, I, uh, here is Cindy Dersham. She is going to be on with Chet and Robin on MSC. Um, so oh. th this is uh, Lori's friend. That uh, she brought her along, so they're going to be on the ship with you for the uh, MSC cruise. So that's awesome. Welcome in, Cindy, and glad you are here. And we've got uh, Michael Ann is in the house, so welcome in, Michael Ann, and glad you are here also. And uh, let's see. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful evening. All right. Um. Oh, um, Will G's asking, is your group cruise in May? It is. May 19th. Oh, I had a banner, and I did not. So here you go. There it is right there. May 19th to the 26th, and you can see <laughs> the port that we are going to. All right. Oh, it went away. Comments. So, but it is. Um, so can't wait. This is going to be a great, great cruise. Just, I... There we go. Okay. Um, let's see here. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about St. Thomas for a little bit. So I am going to play a video because we were going to do something else until we were watching this video from some superstars. And so we saw this video. <laughs> and we changed our mind on what we are doing in St. Thomas. Wait. So give me a second here because I forgot to do present. So hold on a second while I present. <laughs> here we go. Share music. Share it. There we go. And share. All right. Here we go. Let's take the sky ride up Paradise Point in St. Thomas. You can't hear it, Bruce. Turn it up. Under six, right for free. You guys can't hear it? Not really. Was it playing at all? It was playing. It was, playing it was just a, a little low. low. Yeah. Wow. Well, let me try this. This is. We want to hear Rob. Let me see if this sounds any better. The only way yeah. to get to the boarding area is by stairs. Each cab can hold up to eight people. They do their best to fit groups together, but be prepared to share the cab with other riders. It takes about seven minutes to go from the bottom to the top. And it takes about seven minutes to go from the top to the bottom. <laughs> If your ship docks at the downtown pier, the entrance to the Sky Ride is less than a five minute walk. If your ship docks at the Crown Bay Marina, then you will need to take a taxi. The Sky Ride takes you up 700 feet to Paradise Point. The last cab provides the best view going up, and the first cab provides the best view when coming down. You will not have a better view of the entire island as you will from Paradise Point. Mm.
on a clear day, they say that you can see all the way to Puerto Rico and St. Croix. Once you have reached the top, it is a short walk by either stairs or ramps down to the shops and those yummy restaurants. You are welcome to enjoy the scenery from the top of Paradise Point as long as you'd like. And your wristband does provide all day trips up and down. You mean I can go back down and come back up again? That's right. All right. All right, so that is pair. Um, that is the uh, sky ride. Hold on one second while I stop this. I'm not sure who that lady was commentating, but she was amazing. The guy not that good, but she was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> well, that is awesome, and that is where we are. Um, that's what we're going to be doing now instead of, I can't remember what we were going to be doing. I think we we're going to be doing some snorkeling or something, but now we have changed to doing, um, doing uh, the sky ride. And I can't wait. It looks like a lot of fun. Really enjoyed. And if everyone wants to see the complete video of the sky ride and paradise point, go over to sea lake journeys and um, check this video out. Cause I think it's awesome. <laughs> yes. So, what are you guys doing in St. Thomas? Chet? Well, we'll probably do the same thing again. And uh, right beside that uh, sky ride, there's a pirate museum. So we didn't do the pirate museum last time. So we may tiptoe in there and check out the pirate museum and then go up that sky ride and uh, have lunch and a drink or two and, and just sit there. Because uh, last time we went, we loved it. The views are great. We have another separate video of just the sky ride, the whole ride up and down by itself. And it's just, it's awesome. It's better than the video can show you. Very cool. Very cool. What about you, Tom and Terry? Have you guys decided what you're doing in St. Thomas? Yeah, we're doing what's, it's a through Norwegian. It's called the Turbo Cat Snorkel and Beach Adventure. So um, yeah, we're doing beach and snorkeling. And I don't know if I'm going to snorkel much because I just want to relax. I think you get two locations they bring you to. Yeah. Plus, it's all the rum punch you can drink. But that, on the way back. On the way back. Yeah. But, and my our, our high my high school buddies are doing that one with us. So kind of a little group event for us. And I wanted to mention, I know a lot of people just like to eat for free on the ship. But if anybody's looking for someplace, apparently right by our port. I got this from a, a YouTube couple that were, they worked on a cruise. And now they're like don't anymore anyway they recommended this place for burgers right at the port called the tap and still so if anybody wants to eat like if they're sick of free food which i don't know why you would do, but <laughs> i'm sure tom will not let us go there because we can go to the ship for free but they it's supposed to be a really good burger so it's right by the port but cool. i might do that sky ride after if we have time um i wanted to mention that i'm sure everybody knows like from the facebook group but our hours are a little unusual on this particular cruise we don't get in till 11 and we're there until 7 which i'm guessing you have to be on board maybe around 6 so it's a little bit different than i'm used to for for the caribbean ports usually get there the 8 and you know 8 to 5 so um yeah, yeah. and also any of our events that's a good point it's ship time. Yes. I mean, yeah. everything, once you get on that ship, pretty much it's ship time. Yeah. Everything. I mean, yeah. when you get off the boat, you get on the boat, it's ship time. So just don't mess up and yeah. And be somewhere a little bit late. Make sure you have a watch on ship time when you're when you're going to all your ports if you're kind of new to the <laughs> the cruising scene. <laughs> so, yeah, some of our some people, people have never cruised. Yeah, some people have never been on a cruise in our Facebook group. So that's one thing to be really careful about. Um, yep. Make sure your watch is always on ship time or you bring something that has ship time. Yeah. And uh, another thing you can do, and we might do this also after we do the sky ride, is there are go karts or go karts, yeah, golf carts golf that carts. you can rent and drive around the area also. So that's also something else that you might think about doing. Um, that's something we might do after the uh, sky ride have you ever been to uh, st thomas mike 
I have, uh, but it was always with the Royal, and we go to a different port, so I never got to see the Sky Ride or anything. And um, I always went to uh, just the little shops. The um, it's like a cobblestone streets, and they have a bunch of shops there. Um, I can't remember what the place is called, but it's like rows and rows and rows of uh, shops. We were there last year. Nice. We've been there three times. Uh, first time we did the Boss Underwater Motorcycle thing, uh, which is not available on NCL this time. So I was kind of surprised to not see it there. But then the second time we went, they had beginner scuba. They teach you how to do the scuba diving right there, and they slap the tanks on you, and you do all the take the respirator off underwater and all that. And then you go down. There's a ship down there about 65 feet, and you can go down and, and do that. And it was fantastic. You don't never have to have done scuba diving before. And uh, that is available through NCO. If we hadn't already done it, I'd be doing that. And yeah. uh, that, that that that's a fantastic excursion if anybody's interested in diving and has never done it. Oh, that sounds yeah, I'm, like certi that. I'm certified I veterinarian. Better, I'd love to do that. And, and for the for the Facebook people that want to know what to do, um, the beaches are amazing there. Um, I haven't been to some of them, that, but there's a lot of really great ones. Um, I went to Megan. We went to Megan's Beach, which is a very famous one. But there are some mm -hmm. other ones. One's called Sapphire Beach. That's I think it's that that's in St. Thomas. I think you have to take a taxi to most most of them. But I mean, if you love, I mean, it's paradise. It really is. It's one of the most. I think it's one of the most beautiful ports. Um, in the Caribbean, myself, just like mm -hmm. with the houses and the hill, and the it's just it's gorgeous. On our last one, the Terry wanted them to drop us off at the top of 99 steps, so yeah. we're coming back from Megan. They drop us at 99 steps, so we're thinking, oh, it's just a short little walk. It was a hike. We walked a like hike we probably walked three miles back. back to the ship <laughs> in a wet bathing suit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And and I was having a little trouble walking because of, like this wet bathing suit thing and the people behind us were like, you know, if you were on our ship, you wouldn't have that problem because they were on the Carnival Pride and the Carnival Pride every year has a no clothes, a, uh, a nude cruise <laughs> that they book like private cruise. And they were they were parked right in front of us. And no, we didn't see anything. They're not allowed to do that in port. But anyway, they were from that ship and they're like, you wouldn't have had that issue if you were on our ship. <laughs> thought that was funny it was an interesting way to meet people <laughs> uh, so all right let's uh let's go over to the chat to see what's going on andrew says that an agenda sounds awesome so yeah we'll yeah. probably get one put together there uh let's see Roz asking what ship and when this is on the norwegian breakaway as you can see uh all my banners not running again oh that's because i did oh i took it off um but it's on the norwegian breakaway on um may 19th to uh, may 26th of 2025. cruise isn't booked is it it's well, not too late 24. yeah it's not too late we can still, yeah. we can still get you a call. 32 days away <laughs> last minute bruce can get you on yeah. absolutely <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and the, okay, Cindy wants to know, and uh, Mike, does this ship have the smart elevators? No, this was an older ship, so Stupid. that was way before they came up with the uh smart elevators, yeah. And then, uh, Facebook user who is uh Pam Davidson would like to know what the mustard drills like on the ncl so what was it like for you mike when you guys and it might be different now it, because it is totally different still. because uh when we did it we had to do like almost like an old style mustard drill where everybody had to get in certain areas and all and uh everybody got off of there and, and sent vlogs out saying how bad it was and like the very next cruise they changed it uh, they went back to the old, to the uh, the new e muster, and I think you only have to go. I think you watch a video and then you go down there and you get your badge, uh, your uh, card signed or card uh, scanned or something. So that's it. Uh, as far as I know, that's exactly how it is. And I believe Eddie uh, Lugo verified that the other day when we were talking to him. That that's it was very easy. 
And then uh, Will G says that they'll be passing us. They're going to be on the Carnival Horizon during that exact same Ooh. time. Love the Horizon. <laughs> very, very cool. Well, wait. <laughs> My favorite Carnival ship, I think. And we got Have Bill fun. is in the house. Welcome in, Bill. Glad you are here. Hopefully you're having a wonderful evening, sir, and everything is going well with you. Um uh, oh no, Denise says that their central air went out. Mm. Yeah, they had to order a new unit today. Oh, that's not good. Whew. Oh my goodness, you're probably that hot. Actually reminds, uh, Mike, <clears throat> on, when you were on the ship, was it really cold in your room? Because the guy that we know that just got off it, he said, Bring a coat because your rooms are freezing. You can't adjust your room. Um, I had a thermostat. As far as I remember, I had a thermostat on there. Um, Yours was fine? Yeah, I didn't have any problem. But okay. so I run a lot hotter than most people. So when I go in my room, I crank it all the way down to the lowest temperature. And that's where it stays for the, for the, the remainder of the cruise. All right. Um, and then, again, Facebook user, which... Let's see. Oh, Pam also says we don't have anything booked yet. Well, there's a lot of Call good Bruce. options. Call Bruce. No. No, I think she's talking about excursions. Oh, we haven't booked okay. anything yet. Um, you get $50 uh, off. Well, if you got the package deal, I guess that's only if you book through Bruce, huh? Is that just for you, the $50 off per excursion that we got? Uh, or is yeah. that? Is that for your group? Depending or? on is people paid for is to pay got the free at sea. It's a little bit additional. Yeah. You get the four free at sea, then they could have gotten that also that way. Yeah. So you might get a discount for um, you know, for your excursion. But just based based for St. Thomas, a lot of people say you don't really need an excursion on St. Thomas. You can either take there's lots of taxis. It's not super cheap to take a taxi to the beach there. St. Thomas, to, you know, St. Thomas is a, it's American, uh, I, you know, island. So I think it's like 15 or something like that per person or something like that to take taxis to the beaches. But you can definitely do it easily. Um, you can take that, like they said, you can take that tram up. Lots of free stuff. You can go do the shopping. Um, a lot of stuff to do. You don't really have to book an excursion from what I, I've been kind of following uh and darian is in the house welcome in darian glad you are here <clears throat> and uh let's see all right uh any other anybody want uh, oh we got carmen in the house welcome in carmen glad you are here also uh just checking uh for he says young people just don't know how bad mustard drills used to be not only go to the station but then uh had to go to the lifeboat with your vest on that sounds yeah. miserable yes sounds it was not fun never had to do the lifeboat but uh on uh carnival pride we had to go out there in the sun and stand out on the deck and watch people put the life preservers on, and they couldn't start until every single person on the ship was ready. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, uh, let's see. Just uh, oh, and then uh, Cindy's wanted to know, because um, we haven't picked our specialty dining yet, uh, we have talked about maybe doing the Brazilian steakhouse, but we haven't picked yet, and there's some options. Any suggestions on the best steakhouse to, to go to? Yeah, we have one, right? I did the teppanyaki, um, but, I mean, I, I like that, uh, like the Japanese steakhouse type thing, and um, they cook in front of you, and they, they all sang, and when they sang, the entire, like every one of the cooks sang together. So it was, it was pretty cool how they had everybody going together at the same time. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Um, the I'm sure there's a couple of videos out there because uh, 
it, it was uh, myself, Huddle Adventures, and uh, Howie Cruz uh, that had dinner together that night. And I believe uh, all three of us were recording a little bit of, of, of each one. So Nice. And Larry is in the house. Welcome in, Larry. Glad you are here. All right, well, I was going to talk about Tortola, but we don't have that much time. So I think we might cut this off a little bit early and do Tortola next week. So um, oh. along with we got Tortola and we're going to talk about uh, Great Stir K, which is Norwegian's private island. Cannot wait for, uh, for um, Cindy loves private islands, so do I. So that's, that's going to be a lot of fun also. So we are going to uh, be doing, uh, so next week we're going to talk about uh, Tortola and also probably Great Stir K. I am going to go ahead and cut it a little bit short because we don't have enough time to really cover Tortola very well. So um, I'm going to give uh, our panelists the opportunity to uh, talk about their channel, tell us what they go have going on, if anything, lives and videos come out, anything like that. And we'll go ahead and start with um, Tom and Terry. What do you guys got going on your channel? Uh, we, well, as you know, we're TNT's Adventures to See. Um, we we okay. don't really do regular lives, except for these that we're doing with you, Bruce, for these four weeks. So if you're in our Facebook group for this cruise, um, join us next Tuesday if you want. Um, you might catch us with Sea Legs Journey once in a while doing a wine tasting or something like that. But normally, we just like to do shorts. And when we're on vacation, we like to have a vacation. <laughs> and we don't like to have our phone <laughs> everywhere. So I always think I'm going to video stuff, but then I don't. So. We'll, we'll take a bunch of pictures, kind of group them together, put some music to it. That's what you're going to see. Yeah. We're not. You're typical. Or you might see us at a concert or a baseball game or something. But anyway. But that's it's, us. like we say, it's TNT's Adventures to See. Awesome. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us tonight. And thank we you. are going to talk to Chet. What hey, you guys we're at Sea Leg Journeys. I'm half of it. The other half is uh, just finished up work and I think went to bed a few minutes ago. <laughs> she was working late. But hey, we're... Uh, we do three live shows a week, 8.30 on Wednesday and Friday mornings, 6 o'clock on Sunday nights. Uh, join us there, and I put on one regular video every Friday in the Ray Parade and two or three shorts throughout the week. So come on with us. We're going to do some cruising stuff. We'll show you some food, some ships, some excursions, some ports, and even give you some mobility tips along the way. So come on. Be part of Sea Lake Journey Crew. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. And the you guys are doing. Uh, you guys are doing. Um, so you do two week, two, two morning shows, right? Wednesday, yeah, two morning uh, shows. Wednesdays and Fridays, yeah. and then you're live on. And you guys do a great job, and then you're live on Sundays. You Sunday night, yeah. Job and uh, their really videos are also fantastic. They Very really informative. Are. Videos are great. All right, Mr. Clock, what do you have going on? When do you go live? And if you want to also talk about your group cruise you have coming up in September. Uh, yes, we have a group cruise on Utopia the Seas, September 13th through the 20th. It's a back-to-back -back because Utopia is just doing three- and four-day sailings. So if you'd like to get any information, you can get a hold of me or uh, Bruce at Ocean Ocean Travel. And uh, as far as lives, we do a live on Sunday night at 7 p.m. right after Chet and Robin and uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. And then uh, I just put out a vlog on the Icon of the Seas the first day. We went on the first sailing of that. Um, I'm working on the second day. might take me a couple days to get it done. Um, and then I shoot shorts out there. Um, I try to do one every day, but I've been slacking here lately. But I think I have like five lined up for this week or so. So uh, pretty much it. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Well, I want to thank everybody again for joining us this evening. It's been another great show. Um, thank you all. And thank the panelists for joining. And we will be Bruce. back next week. Yeah. When do you put out yours? <laughs> you didn't talk about you. <laughs> well, we go live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific. 
um, and uh, talk mainly about cruising, but we'll talk about other stuff also. And I am working on getting videos out. We um, so uh, I've got Helen that I've got to get out, and I definitely got to get that all out before we uh, get on the breakaway. So hopefully, I can get that all done. Um, we do plan on going live once or twice while we're on the breakaway, but typically we go live every Tuesday night. And then we are also travel agents along with Mike Clock. And so if you guys do need any any help getting on a cruise or actually any type of vacation, or if you just need some information, you can get a hold of us. And so just go to um, uh, OceanOceanTravel.com and uh, we have our contact information in there so you can get a hold of us and uh, ask any questions you have. All right, everybody. Well, we hope that you all have a wonderful evening and we will see you guys you. next week. Until Thank next time, be travels. Thank you, guys. We'll see you out awesome. there. Love it.